B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. On January 18, 2024, the Digital Literacy Initiative was officially launched at the Himawari Hotel Apartments. Spearheaded by the Dario Foundation in collaboration with the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sports and the Ministry of Labor and Vocational Training, this initiative aims to improve digital literacy education for Cambodian youth, especially in rural areas. The program in Cambodia will be implemented by Swiss Contact for a two-year period, with the overarching goal of integrating youth into the digital economy by bridging the digital gap and equipping them with the necessary digital skills. We spoke with Daniel Keller, the Vice President of the Dariu Foundation, who flew in from Switzerland to attend the launch, to get some more details on the new digital literacy initiative. The Dariu Foundation has always been focusing on education and young people. Around 10 years ago, we started focusing on digital literacy education. And digital literacy education for us is a tool to develop soft skills of young people. Soft skills like self-confidence, teamwork, uh, um, creativity. And so uh, we have been doing that in Vietnam for around 10 years. And we started working in Laos and in Cambodia this year. And besides that, we also have a project in uh, Bhutan. So the main tar target beneficiaries here are high school students from 15 to 18 years old and also students of the technical and vocational education centers here. So we chose locations that are at the same time uh, don't have many international donors yet. So we are not overcrowded with international donors and projects, but at, at the same time, uh, provinces which will allow us to show results quickly. Because the idea is that after we have first results, we are going to scale the program to other provinces. This project is for the time being for two years, and we try to um, uh, expand it after gaining experience and evaluating it. So to ensure that we don't replicate mistakes in other provinces. So uh, the Dario Foundation never intervenes directly. So we don't actually train children directly, but we train teachers. We build capacities of teacher. And in, in the case of Cambodia, the two areas, uh, one area is coding. And the second area is how to, uh, how to run a coding club. Because this is, a, this is something with the, te the teachers you can share experience how it is done in Vietnam. So uh, here we focus really on the schools and on the TVETs. So this is the, this is the focus. And the activities of the pro pro uh, program are three main activities. One is teachers training. Two is support code clubs with material. And three is complement equipment in uh, Cambodian schools. Let me also emphasize one point. We are only focusing on public schools. So it's, it's, uh, this project is really about improving the public education system. So we would like to uh, involve the private sector here in two ways. First of all, in, in, in providing funding for the initiative, but secondly, also to provide us technical input because uh, find, uh, the private sector here, like uh, large companies here, they have experience what the job market needs. The main form of collab collaboration with the government is to develop this curriculum together and to make sure that it ne meets the needs of Cambodia, but then also to ensure that it is integrated into the official curriculum. And I can maybe um, give you an example. In Vietnam, coding was not part of the curriculum. And after piloting this and after then implementing coding in 10 provinces, it, it has become an official part of the curriculum. So it's now in Vietnam, every student, every high school student learns how to code. If I compare Cambodia like 25 or 30 years ago with Cambodia now, I'm really impressed. And I would say Cambodia is on a good way to become like Vietnam. So I think we are only now only slightly behind Vietnam, while in the past you were maybe, uh, maybe years behind Vietnam. And uh, also a CEO of Swiss Contact who was accompanying me was very impressed about the development of Cambodia.